Good morning, everybody. I'm Deanna Saucetta. So glad you're with us. 25 minutes past the hour. A water main break we first told you about yesterday morning still causing problems and likely will for a few more days. This is what it looked like at Comanche and Carlisle this morning. Albuquerque officials say the water main ruptured early Tuesday morning and it's likely due to an old pipe. All southbound lanes of Carlisle are closed between Montgomery and Comanche. The northbound traffic is down to one lane. State police are investigating four Valencia High School football players after allegations they sexually assaulted younger players. The superintendent from Los Lunas Schools says the incident happened late last month and it's been under investigation since they learned about it from a parent last week. A source tells News 13 the case involved four senior football players sexually humiliating three other players from the junior varsity team in the locker room. District officials have turned their case over to state police. The four seniors have been disciplined but it is not clear if they were suspended or they'll be kept from the playoff game this Saturday against Goddard. A family trying to keep warm is forced from their home after investigators say a faulty extension cord connected to a space heater went up in flames. The blaze at the home on Draxton Avenue started around 7 yesterday morning. The 50-year-old house sustained heavy smoke and fire damage. The Red Cross is now helping that family. If you're thinking about stocking up on firewood, make sure you measure before you buy. State law requires wood to be advertised and sold by the cord or partial cord. But the Department of Agriculture says it's hearing a lot of complaints from buyers who say they are being shortchanged. A full cord of wood measures 128 cubic feet. It is usually stacked in a 4x4 four by, four by 8 foot pile. Right now, let's go ahead and take a look at that weather. Here's Kristen Van Dyke. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. We're off to a breezy start this Wednesday morning with windy conditions over in the northeast. Seeing winds sustained at 40 miles per hour up near Clayton and winds gusting even higher than that. Seeing wind gusts up to 50, 55 miles per hour up in the northeast. Everyone else seeing those winds out of the north at 15 to 25 miles per hour. And uh, so with the breeze around, it feels actually colder than the temperatures you see here. We're starting off in the 30s to the north with temperatures in the 40s across southern New Mexico. Skies are mostly clear, so we'll see a lot of sunshine today and temperature wise. A lot like yesterday, climbing into the mid 50s. We do get in a warm up into a warm up over the next few days with highs in the upper 50s to near 60 degrees to the weekend with a chance for rain moving in Monday and Tuesday. Thank you, Kristen, and thank you for joining us. For continuous news and weather updates, log on to KRQE.com. Have a great morning, folks. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning, 5 a.m.